is Nikita from GamerVision.com, and I'm standing here with Nagin Farsad, who is the director and executive producer of uh, Nerdcore Rising. I can do this at the cost of everything. As long as there are nerds, there will be Nerdcore. So, I mean, how did you fund a project like this? It's expensive, and did you have to fund it yourself, or who did you find to give you money, and like, how do you pitch this? Like, I'm gonna follow white, dorky rapper. First off, I, I, did, I, I posted a bunch of stuff online and kind of shamelessly begged for money from strangers, like small donations. And and luckily, the you know the, the PAX community, the you know the, the gaming community at large, um, the the community of nerdcore fans definitely represented by giving me their money. And then the other part of it was I would go and beg strangers to invest like larger amounts of money. <laughs> Dentists, uh, accountants, like you're, you know, you're run of the mill people that have some disposable income. Friends of my parents, you know what I mean? Friends of friends who are my age but somehow have made a, a real living. Did you know MC Friend a lot or did you pick him to follow and make a documentary about it. How did it happen? His uh, keyboardist um, and collaborator, G Minor 7, aka Gabi Alter, is a brilliant composer and we together were writing a musical called The Israeli-Palestinian Conflict or Romantic Comedy. One day during rehearsals he was like, oh we should listen, I'm in this band and my friend, he's being interviewed on a local radio station and it was MC Fenelon. I listened to it and I was like, nerdcore hip-hop, is that really a thing? This <laughs> sounds ridiculous. The band is great. The lyrically, MC Fenelon is really strong. The experience of going to a show is really is really fun but that's not really what did it for me what did it for me was that I met his fans they just had all this like richness of uh, of the nerd profile front a lot raps about all the things I care about like magic the gathering and internet porn addiction there's a lot of performances you had to portray and I really liked your animations and your way of displaying them and showing the lyrics along with them where, where, how did you come to that conclusion that's what you want to do with it? Well, you know, I had been listening to this music for so long because I was on tour with them and I knew all the lyrics and I knew what was going on and I made a rough cut of the movie and I assembled a couple of like my comedian friends and they were like, we just don't know what he's saying, you know? There's all this yeah. rapping and we don't know what he's saying and I was like, okay, got it. And and I knew, you know, at that point that th these couple of friends of mine would be representative of a larger audience not understanding what the lyrics were because you don't know, you can't understand what rap is when you first hear it, you know? You have to like sit with it in a room alone and like parse the lyrics and really like... But I needed the audience to have a visceral reaction from the get-go, you know? I needed them to understand the lyrics immediately and so um, I, I, I worked with a motion graphics designer uh, named Dan Short to like bring all of those to life and we talked about different ways to present it. The front's no more. I'm also massive aspiration stations up in my head to be the dopest innovation since the slicing of bread. Instead of simply relying on my insistence to prove that every twist of my tongue is another radical move to the end. So, are, do you feel like you're part of the band now? I mean, I feel like the guys are my friends. Um, you know, that, that happened very early on. They're really easy to get along with. They're really fun. They're really opening and open and, and welcoming. They, when they see me around, they're like, she's there. She's got to have a camera, like, somewhere on one of her appendages, you know. And <laughs> at this point, they're just like, oh, there she is. She's going to make us say something, you know. <laughs> and, like, um, so it, I think... I, they look at me as like a lifelong documentarian. So a lot has happened yeah. like two years later yeah. and obviously he's grown in success yeah. so are you going to have like a follow-up? You know I put so much material online and I do so much video blogging. The mm -hmm. film has a companion web series called Nerd of the Week and besides that I, I video blog. The experience here at PAX will be video blogged. Um, so there's a lot of stuff that I put online so I feel like I'm, I'm this is the kind of ongoing sequel to like uh, MC front a lot. Welcome back to PAX and good luck and Nikita from GamerVision.com, GoodNerdCoreRising.com and peace out. We got a plane to catch. Bye. You, for the price of a modest home in the greater Phoenix area, can finance the entirety of the Nerdcore Rising the movie budget. Go to nerdcorerising.com. There are many options and ways to support the film. You could even just tell your friends about it. It's a cool movie. I'm in it a little bit at the end.